Hello and welcome. This week we thought we would have a chat with you about how living in a house compares to living on a boat. So we have a list of items we thought of. If you think of anything that we've missed out, leave it in the comments below. So the first thing on the list is filling up with gas, cooking with gas. Yeah, so in a house you have your gas from a mains gas supply from the street. We have to put gas bottles in. So we, were, we use the gas just for cooking. Yeah, some, some boats obviously are heated through with gas as well. But ours is just for cooking. I don't know if you get boats that don't even use gas for cooking. Because you can use, is it propane? Or is that gas. just in? Like... It's just gas, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> propane electricity. In this instance, living in a house is much easier than living in a boat. Second thing. Water. Water. Ah, oh, house winds again. Yeah, so with water we have a holding tank of water and we have to fill it up which is regularly. really annoying um, obviously the frequency that you need to fill it up varies depending on how much water you use actually it doesn't bother me because it's Kath's job yeah. but Kath does it so badly that we regularly run out of water it's not fun filling up with water when it's dark it's not fun all. doing the poo when it's dark actually it's the best time to do it <laughs> Anyway, so house winds. that leads us into toilets. House winds. House winds. <laughs> <laughs> Not that you can say anything. When's the last time you did a toilet? I've come to a happy place with the cassette toilet situation and I've never really minded doing it but I've come to this really happy place because now I use um, little um, washing machine detergent things. Yeah, instead of instead blue. of the, the blue chemical and um, it just it works so much better and is I'm really... Is it a more frothy experience? It is quite frothy. <laughs> so house winds. Um, internet. We get our internet through a mobile broadband device so we have to charge up the battery in there quite regularly again. Um, and it uses it it's got a sim card in there it the speed is quite fast when it when we've got a good connection but we sat in a steel rectangle so you have to kind of position the device in the window for some mobile wi-fi devices you can get external aerials but the ones that the mobile providers give you don't have an aerial slot i want to say it's a draw between boat and house because I use the internet the same as I did in the house. I'm just a little bit more careful of the data. Yeah, that's the one thing, because we used to have unlimited data in the house. Heating. Yep, so that's... I think that the boat wins for heating, actually, because, and I'm gonna say why, um, it's just always really warm on the boat. When we're in the apartment, it would be cold in the morning, the floors would be cold and you'd have to kind of walk through the apartment, through the corridor and everything was just really cold. Whereas here, now we've worked out how to keep the fire going overnight. It actually gets too hot so we open up all the doors in the boat. Okay, electricity. Electricity. <laughs> um, so obviously in a house, you get the electricity from a cable outside yeah. from the street and we gases and we so we're in a permanent residential mooring so we, we get our electricity. electricity from a cable from the pontoon yep um that comes in and powers up all our 240 volt sockets if we were continually cruising then we would just be reliant on our batteries and um, solar so the batteries would charge from the solar and from the engine oh um, and that we could still we can we've got an inverter so we can still power the 240 volts but obviously by that point we want to be care, a bit more careful about how we use electricity yeah 
Um, so I would say, I'm going to say boat wins for electricity and the reason is because it will make us better consumers in the long run. Yeah, and I think that's the same with heating as well and, yeah. and water. Yeah. Space. House wins. <laughs> I think for, for me boat wins because um, it's just been about simplifying everything and being a bit less kind of stuff obsessed. Yeah, I completely and, agree. And you you have to you only keep what you actually use yeah. as opposed to people that live in houses or apartments. Yeah. Don't they you know they just build another cupboard, right? Yeah. Cooking. Yes, yeah, so cooking is that was my one contribution to the list. <laughs> Kath wrote the list and sent me the list and said, "Can you add anything else on for this vlog?" And I was like, "Cooking." I have nothing to say. Cooking's the same. Mm. So, I think. Do you prefer cooking on the boat or cooking on land? I guess then on in a, in a. I really like. I, I like cooking. <laughs> That's and not the question. No, I know, but the only thing, I think, on land the pans get a little b bit hotter. Lighting. There's our new light for filming. The sun is going down. We do apologise for this kind of... House winds. <laughs> we don't even really... Wait, we just chop that bit there. So the, the <laughs> one... The I can't one... work it out. Cece will be so cross at this lighting. No, I'm, I am too. They look so in the dark. We replaced all of our, our bulbs with... LED bulbs because they're more energy efficient and um, brighter than the halogen bulbs. This is this is an LED filming light that we've got. It's not even lighting us up anymore. It's lighting up the cupboard. <laughs> House winds. Yeah, it's dark. Wait. I have to have a torch to go through my drawers. I've tried to. Oh, and in the cupboard. Yeah, yeah. You need a head torch sometimes to find your underwear. Um, I've tried. To to make it a bit lighter I've put some um, screens in where the hatches are and some screen at the stern door to kind of let some of the light in when I'm painting or when you're working yeah movability movability portability the boat winds for movability as we're not in our mooring at the moment we've moved yay and it's lovely it's really nice the cats love being able to move too. We love it. So, is there anything that we have forgotten off our house versus boat list? Something that you were thinking, oh, would this be better on land or is this better in the house? Um, ask us below or leave us a comment if you think we got one of them wrong. Yeah, let us know what you think. I hope this has been useful if you're thinking about whether to move on a boat or to not move on a boat. So all in all, it doesn't really matter which one wins in each. It does, it always matters who wins. Well yeah, so overall, despite whatever we've just said in the last 10 minutes. The boat wins. The boat wins. <laughs> Living on a boat wins. Even though it's been minus five degrees in winter and the canal froze over and, and we the couldn't hatch, feel our the feet. hatch froze shut. And we couldn't get out of the boat because the bolt froze. <laughs> and. We had to get the hair dryer. It's so cold some mornings that, that you just don't want to get out of bed and you have to because you've got to go to work. The boat, the boat still, still wins. wins. Because you can't move a house. One thing that I'll probably do after we've been on the boat for a little bit longer is a comparison because Especially at the end of winter, I do like a spreadsheet kind of comparison for how much everything yeah. costs. So I do track how much we spend and I've always tracked how much we spend. I'm don't. in charge of how much we spend. I'm in charge of happiness. And toilets. <laughs> <laughs> and sadness. <laughs> Alright. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.